Hey there folks, Boosh and the Rod coming at you again, and we are doing another wine review. Got a good response on the last one, actually put a user poll out there asking if people wanted to see more, and well, out of the 40 or so views, three people clicked on the teaser, and yep. it was unanimous. Those three people said yes, they want to see more. So this was the wine that we were originally uh, suggested to, that was originally suggested to us. It's uh, Dragonfly Farm and Wineries Candle Waster. Now, Dragonfly Farm and Winery, they actually grow all their own ingredients. They do everything up right on site. So, uh, you know, we'll get into another wine. This keeps up. We might just have to class things up a little bit, you know. Stop swearing, be polite to each other. Yeah, fuck that. No? I don't think so. But you'd need a new shirt, though. You mean a new shirt? No. you just need a new shirt. Well, have you know, this is the finest polyester that Walmart has to offer. This is a perfect shirt. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, right. I, I might need one too, though. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. A Peter Fool thinks you need a new shirt. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's get into this wine. We'll check it out. And again, we are not uh, big wine drinkers, so we're just going to give you kind of a, a layman's impression of it. Stick with the one to five rating that we do for beer. You know, yeah. we can get into all kinds of different categories, uh, appearance, flavor, aroma, and all that other stuff. But I well, like see, we could do that with the beer as well. So exactly, I like to keep things nice and simple and relatable. This is an interesting plastic cap on there. Actually, I don't think we're going to need that the corkscrew. Might be connected to the cord. Said. Yeah, I think you were right. We're not going to need the quartz. Oh, it's a little bit of pressure. Hmm, synthetic. So, let's get into this. This is a cranberry table wine. Hmm. Definitely looks cranberry in color. It's like a little cranberry juice. I gotcha. I'll take care of you. have a smell to it. Yeah. Pleasant. Unpleasant. Even though it's not cork, I mean, it does have that. Oh, you mean the... Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, when you take the cork out, you're supposed to sniff the cork. Oh, why? I don't care about the cork. I'm not going to eat the cork. I know. I'm not getting much out of the aroma yeah. of that. Yeah, it does have a little bit of cranberry. A little bit of cranberry? Scent to it. Okay, yeah. There it is. Now that I get right into it. It's interesting, it's got that nice rosy color to it, but when it gets up on the glass, it's very clear. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now that it's breathing a little bit, I'm getting more of that cranberry fruity aroma. I think this one's going to be pretty sweet. Probably. It's very sweet. Very cranberry. Very sweet, but it has the alcohol taste. But not much. Not much, though. I mean, it's very subtle in the finish. Yeah. I mean, that's like. And there's not much. There's not much to chew, neither. Mm -mm. It's very light. It's yeah, going it's down crazy. easy. It's like like opening up a bottle of Ocean Spray cranberry juice with just a little bit of a tinge to the end of it. Yep. Yeah. This is a dangerous bottle. <laughs> Could be. No, it is. That bottle ain't gonna last the night. Really? Yeah. This is this is very very good. I'm enjoying it immensely. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. yeah. As far as wine goes, mm -hmm. it ain't bad. I'm gonna actually hit this with a, a five out of five right now. Because I am really, really enjoying it, and it is easy to drink and it's delicious. And again, wine's kind of a new thing for me, so yeah. uh, that rating may change as time goes on. But honestly, this is just so sweet and delicious and fruity and holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. I'll give it a four. 
I just don't generally care for wine, even if it tastes good. <laughs> yeah, but still pretty impressive. Yeah, it's um, not bad, actually. It, it would be. Yeah. I know if I'm ever forced to serve wine in an event, I'm going to have this around. It's gone already. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Well, that was very good. Loving it. Go out, pick up a bottle, check it out. Um, I had to cruise around town a little bit. It is a local main winery, but I guess they don't have the ability to deliver right now. Uh, Raid Redemption right down in Winslow has it. Um, there's a couple places in Skowhegan. I think the Hannaford out there, somebody told me had it. So um, good luck tracking it down, and if you can, get yourself a bottle. And so uh, hit us up in the comments in the email section down below. Make sure you let us know what you thought of it and uh, what you think of the video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, folks, cheers. Keep drinking. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Not at all. I love it. Now, a little while back, we did a bit of comparison with the uh, Not Your Father's Car Gate review. Thanks for having me. Well, thanks for the beer, man. So, highly recommended by you. Extreme Beer Fest this weekend. We'll be able to get a hold of, I believe it's the American...